The Atlanta VA Medical Center indefinitely suspended its ambulance contract with a local company after a Fox 5 I team investigation raised questions. Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis says the VA has started its own investigation into Metro Health EMS, contracted to care for medically fragile veterans. Our investigation started last year, but took on even greater urgency once the COVID-19 pandemic arrived. Now, the company the VA chose to manage all non-emergency transports here at the VA has been replaced. While the state accuses Metro Health EMS and one of its officers of breaking the law. ProCare EMS is now in charge of taking medically fragile veterans to their doctor's appointments and dialysis. They're a licensed ambulance company in Georgia. The old company, Metro Health EMS, was not. The VA okayed them to handle patients who only needed a stretcher van, a service that doesn't require a license. If a veteran needed a real ambulance, Metro Health was supposed to pay a subcontractor for that run. It was an unusual arrangement that created immediate controversy. One of your subcontractors from last year complained to the VA that your company is putting veterans' lives in danger. Is that possible? Putting veterans' like We do non-emergency transport. Vans like this. According to his complaint, you're actually putting people on these vans who need emergency transport. That's not true. Remember, if Metro Health used its own vans rather than bring in a subcontractor, it got to keep all the money for the trip. Some of those vans had clearly seen better days. Rusty wheel wells, mismatched paint jobs. The brakes were keeping up loud, loud noises, and I asked the driver, I said, are we going to make it? Is this truck okay? We saw those stretcher vans equipped with oxygen tanks, something only licensed ambulance companies can provide a patient. In this cease and desist order sent to Metro Health EMS, the Georgia Department of Public Health accused the company of breaking the law, transporting patients on oxygen, ventilators, IV pumps, and transporting trauma patients to Wellstar Atlanta Medical Center. Have you actually performed any services for patients that would have required you be licensed? No. Not at all. But Doyle got his own cease and desist from the state, claiming he broke the law too by representing himself as a paramedic when he is not. Brian L. Doyle has committed egregious violations, placing the public safety, health, and welfare at risk. We reached out to Metro Health and Doyle for comment, but did not get a response. No one has been criminally charged, but the state warned that if Doyle or Metro Health EMS holds themselves out to be a paramedic or a licensed ambulance service again, they'll have to deal with law enforcement. Indicator Randy Travis, Fox 5 News.